my feet have started to swell. If you do not want to see the bloody show, fast forward through this part. Everything's definitely less in my stomach now and more like down. It, If the contractions went away, they didn't. And then I just went to the bathroom and had a bloody show. So it's time to go home. It's the middle of the night. It's midnight. Um, and I'm definitely in labor. So um, mom's just pulling the car around, and I'm about to call Chad. up at the house I'm gonna have to go around back and actually knock on the window since Chad hasn't been answering his phone Chad Chad yeah. I'm in labor huh? I'm in labor I've been trying to call you I don't want to hug you in a minute <laughs> she wants to hit you <laughs> on the way here I was like Adelaide's not gonna have a daddy I'm gonna kill him I'm gonna be a single parent Chad, how in the world are you not answering your phone right now? Oh my God. My contractions are about 10 minutes apart. If I'm sitting doing nothing, they're about three minutes apart if I'm standing doing stuff. And if I strangle you, I don't know how far apart they'll be. <laughs> that could change things. <laughs> So it's 4.40 in the morning. My mom just left and went back to Fernandina. And my contractions are coming and going. Sometimes they're about five minutes apart. Sometimes they're about 10 minutes. They're still really strong. Um, but Chad and I thought it was a good time to just lay down and rest for a little while. So we laid down in the bed and I made it through two contractions that were about eight minutes apart in the bed and decided I couldn't be in there anymore. It was too painful in the bed. 
they're about four minutes apart now. Some of them deviate from that, like sometimes I'll get one that's ten minutes. But for the most part, they're four minutes apart. As soon as I got in the tub, I had a really large contraction and I felt more of the mucus plug come out. I'm going to show you what it looks like in case you are curious or wonder whether or not you've lost yours. It's the bloody show that everyone talks about. Now you have been warned. If you do not want to see the bloody show, fast forward through this part or look away now. Okay. If you can just imagine it, it looks like when you blow your nose and there's a little bit, a little bit of blood for whatever reason. That's what it looks like. Let's see. Get the focus better now. enough to go in at this time but the reason I was calling was that my ankles started and feet started swelling today and that's never happened before and it's gotten um, a lot worse over the past hour like my feet are actually painful Okay, we have a blood pressure cuff here. Okay. Could we use that right. and let you know what it is? Just be 
turning up the dial now that my water broke, I'm sure. We just contacted the placenta encapsulator, got all of our stuff, and yep, we're on the way. Our SD cards are all running low, and we had trouble switching the um, files over, and so I made Chad stop to get another SD card, and he's about to kill me. Can I please have my SD card? Oh, it's just right there. All you gotta do is run in real fast and grab it and come out. It's all fun and games, so there's a baby in the floorboard. <laughs> I have fluid, like, I'm wearing an adult diaper, but I have fluid, like, leaking out. I can feel it. It's contained in the adult diaper, but it's like, I just had a really hard contraction, and fluid's just like, whew. He got it. Yay! Been here for probably about an hour and a half. I've been having continuous contractions. Um, we didn't get the low intervention room because someone was in it. Ah. So I opted for a room with a shower as opposed to a bath because it was further away from other people and it was quieter. Um, but that's okay because we brought all of our low intervention stuff, so we were fine with this room. Um, I'm about to get in the shower because the contractions are coming pretty quickly. Um, so, I'm about to get in the shower for some pain management, and we'll be back. <laughs> I wish I could show you more, because baby, you deserve some more. Exactly what it should be.
bypass this, or I'll be over. You want me to? I think so. I just. I think I need it. Um, yeah. I do that. I just can't do it while you're making the music. It's terrible. No, that's okay. I'm not that good. <laughs> but as soon as it's over, you can get right back. Yeah, I'll just wait for another contraction. Okay. for an epidural, which is fine. And her head was in the wrong position, and so it was pressing down on things in her back, making it very, very uncomfortable. So. And it was making the contractions not do anything. I was having, we were, I was having really, really, really strong contractions, and They were just going nowhere because my cervix is, they said my cervix is unevenly effaced. And so it was causing her head to tilt. And whenever I would have a really bad contraction, I could like fill it in my butt. And um, normally you get a good break between contractions. And The contraction would go away in my stomach, but the pain in like my butt and in my back never would go away. And so I was starting to panic because I was going on an hour and a half or two hours without getting a break from the pain at all. And we just decided it was to a place where it was unmanageable. It's okay, baby. It is okay. I'm disappointed, but... There were just so many things working against us this time. Like, we couldn't get the low intervention room, and... We, um... Couldn't get a tub in our room. And I had to be hooked up to the monitors, so... Um... I wouldn't have been able to get in the tub anyway. All we could do was use the shower, and I couldn't put it on my stomach. I could only put it on my back because the monitors. It was just a lot. It was a lot harder than it was with Teddy. And then we didn't have as many things we could use to help. But Chad was amazing. He was such an amazing help. Pull behind your thighs. Grab between your hands behind your knees. There you go. Push, 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 push. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's it. That was great push. Do it again. Right back. Do it again. Push, 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 push. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? Quick breath. One more time. Good job. Yeah? I don't think she minds pushing. I think she's like, let's get this show on the road. Yeah. No, that's cool. She did good with it. Good. Oh, oh, I go ahead. Yep. Can you stop? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You're okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to be on the Get suited up. Oh, that's her. <sighs> Crowning? Well, I stopped her from pushing. Mm -hmm. Well, she's one now. Push. Push, push, 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 push. Seven, like eight, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. <sighs> Hold that pressure down there. Better. I can go again if you guys want. You're contracting. Yeah, I think you are. Go, 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 Yes, 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 yes. Good job. I'm just trying not to tear. Are you still contracting? I feel the urge. Oh, 
so tired. <laughs> so tired. I am just like, can't even keep my eyes open. Just look at this booty. <laughs> we have made sure she's a girl, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's a girl. Mm -hmm. And I, we're going to our room.